In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Previously on Living Free Alaska, we catch up on all our highlights from the summer of 2022, from the Chicken Stock Music Festival to sockeye salmon fishing in Prince William Sound, more house build updates, a trip to Chena Hot Springs, and our annual RVing to Alaska campout rally, and finally moving into our ultimate shop house. Click the link above if you missed this video. You know it's officially fall when it's dark at night again and the northern lights come out and play. October was a very busy month for us. At the beginning of the month, we flew back down to our hometown of Spokane to meet up with our best friends, Jeff and Julie, to attend their bachelor bachelorette party. It was a great weekend spent with friends at the local Laser Quest where we played three competitive rounds of laser tag amongst kids that were old enough to be our grandkids. We indulged in great food and drinks throughout the weekend and we capped it off with a night of dancing at the new speakeasy in town. Who says you can't have fun in your 50s? I also got to visit with my mom while we were in town. As much as we wanted to stay, we would be seeing each other again in just one month in Catalina for their wedding. Upon our return, we hosted our first house guests, Donna and Neva, with Our Nomadic Story, who came up to celebrate their 35th wedding. It was a great visit with them, and we can't wait to host them again in a couple of summers when they return in their motorhome to Alaska. Later in the month, our friends Mike and Chris invited us over to help make a variety of moose sausages. Together, we made snack sticks, Munich brats, Bodine sausages, salami, kielbasas, and some breakfast sausage. It's always a treat when our friends invite us to do things like this as we learn a new way of living. And then sometimes God provides in unusual ways. From an unfortunate flight to dinner plate, this spruce grouse did not go to waste. Living off the land is a way of life up here and one we don't mind living. Some may have thrown that bird away, but there was nothing truly wrong with it and it made one delicious meal for the two of us. Speaking of wildlife, we are so fortunate that Spirit is smart enough to know that the moose rule our yard and not her. She just sits back and watches them stroll by. At the end of October, my cousin Winston came up for a full weekend of fun. We decided to go down to Seward for the weekend where we rented the cabin on a cliff. A rustic little cabin perched high above the harbor complete with two bedrooms and most importantly, a hot tub. While there, Winston managed to hook us up with Seward Air Tours. Considering it was the off season, we were really excited that they were willing to take us up for an amazing flight over the area. So let's climb aboard and go fly like the eagles. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in new, somewhere I can find myself. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out to you, I feel so alive I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive 
Joey, our pilot and owner of Seward Air Tours, for returning our call that late October day. It was one of our highlights of our year, and it was so fun to enjoy with my cousin and his girlfriend. If you would like to book a sightseeing tour this summer with them, you can find them at SewardAir.com or call or text to 907-978-3089. They are now booking summer scenic and air taxi flights. And be sure to please tell them Living Free Alaska or RVing to Alaska sent you. By the way, this flight was not sponsored. With the departure of my cousin brought the arrival of the white stuff, and by Halloween, several inches were on the ground. But have no fear, Alaskan kids and adults alike are tough and didn't let that spoil the annual Houston trunk or treat. Along with our friends, Mike and Bobby, we dressed up for the occasion and had fun passing out treats to the local children of our community. Just as we were getting all settled in for a long winter's nap and getting used to house life, it was time for us to fly out and celebrate our best friend's wedding on Catalina Island. One perk of taking the red eye was not only would we land in LAX by 10 a.m., but we got to enjoy some northern lights along the way. Upon landing, we met back up with our friends and headed to the ferry only to learn that due to weather, all ferries were canceled for the day. So at the last minute, we found a cute little Airbnb for all eight of us to stay in for the night. Luckily, the next morning, it was smooth sailing across the channel and we got settled in for a week of wedding fun. Say that's fancy. You like? Yeah. Ah. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, Woman. <man. laughs> Somebody's gonna be carrying that thing around. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Good on there. Wow. Ah. What do you think? That's great. Let's check out the merchandise. Yeah. <laughs> Right on. You like it? Yep. Okay, good. You yep. ready to get married? Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. True. Uh, uh, true. 
wedding festivities over, we had smooth sailing back to Los Angeles, where we caught our flight back home, where we were greeted by one of the worst road conditions we have ever encountered since moving here. But most importantly, Sophie was glad we were home. Face protection would be really nice. A little cold. <laughs> With our return home from California, it was starting to feel like winter again, and we felt so fortunate to be in our home this year. No more sub-zero outside in the motorhome. Instead, we started to get into a new daily routine of keeping up with the wood stove and keeping the house nice and toasty warm. However, with the colder weather, it brought us some of the most beautiful sunrises and sunsets straight from the living room couch. We also finally had our master closet system installed from Inspired Closets out of Anchorage. They did an amazing job and both Gary and I love how they turned out for the space. With the holidays just around the corner, I decided to do something a little different this year and for the first time ever, our decorations went up before December. It was so fun to decorate our house again. It truly felt like a winter wonderland, both inside and out, and helped brighten our short winter days. Some would say I put up the trees a bit too early, but I had a good excuse, as we would be gone for half of December for our 10 year wedding anniversary. This way, when we returned home just a week before Christmas, everything was already ready for the holidays. In the beginning of December, the snow finally came, and it came in record amounts. The night before we were to fly out, it dumped 13 inches in a 24-hour period. With 20 inches on the ground, we had to leave extra early for the airport to guarantee we would make our flight. This would make our travel day a solid 24 hours from our front door to our hotel door in Fort Lauderdale. Luckily, we got to Anchorage with no issues and none of our flights were delayed. I even got to wave at my mom 36,000 feet below as we flew over Spokane on our red eye flight to Detroit. I have to say, we really enjoy being Delta Platinum members. We always enjoy the sky lounges on our layovers, especially on long haul trips such as this. With the waterways of Florida coming in view, we knew the fun was about to begin. Time to rest up because in two days time, we would be sailing the high seas aboard the beautiful Sky Princess. Our vacation was a seven-day Eastern Caribbean cruise that took us to the Bahamas, St. Thomas, and St. Martin. And while we were enjoying the ship life, back home, another snowstorm hit the area with more frigid temps. Thank goodness for our wonderful neighbors who kept our driveway clear so our house sitter could get in and out as well as us when we returned. They sent us a video of plowing our driveway. We were amazed at the depth. In all, over 60 inches of snow fell while we were away. 
Again, we can't thank our neighbors enough. Even the poor moose had a hard time getting through the yard. Meanwhile, back on the ship, we were enjoying paradise, and on December 12th, a day at sea, Gary and I renewed our wedding vows. Today was our 10-year wedding anniversary of saying I do on the North Shore of Kauai, Hawaii. As a master of the Sky Princess, it gives me a great pleasure to say I now repronounce you husband and wife. Gary, you may kiss your husband. Well done. I've been waiting for that all The remainder of our cruise was very relaxing by hitting the beach in St. Thomas, and while visiting our favorite port of call, St. Martin, we took a tour to the island by taxicab and then stopped for lunch at the famous airport beach, where we watched some of the flight traffic come in and land right over our heads. With our final port visited, it was time to head back to Florida where we had one more day of sunshine and warmth before headed back to the frigid cold of Alaska. On our last night, we took a Christmas lights cruise along the intercoastal waterway where we enjoyed some beautifully decorated estates. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end and it was time to fly home. Another 24-hour travel day laid ahead with some unplanned travel delays out of Seattle. Lucky for us, however, we were again greeted by the northern lights out our window as we worked our way home. Due to our unplanned late arrival, we got a hotel room in Anchorage and made the drive home the next morning. All right, we just got home from 13 days away. And this is how my dog greets me. Climbing a leg. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, did you miss this? Did you miss this? Where's the other one? Should we go in and see what the other one does? Hi, Sophie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi, Spirit. What? Spirit? Hi. 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 You actually kind of got a little excited. Once home, we had a lot to unbury. Although our driveway was kept clear, we now needed to remove over four feet of snow that had accumulated on our patios and decks. 
We didn't let the negative 25 degrees stop us as we had to get it done before it turned into solid ice. But there is a positive side to all this snow. We can finally go play on our snow machines that we've been waiting for for over a year and a half. Well, that's it for 2022. Only a few more videos until we get all cut up to real time and restart our weekly vlog episodes based in March of 2024. We thank you for being patient while we catch up the vlog and are looking forward to getting back to weekly videos soon. Until then, we hope you're enjoying our story. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.